YouTube. It's Mitch at ModMind.com. Today we're going to be talking about the tweaks that we've seen in iOS 8. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one I'm going to share with you is called Quick Reply. This feature, Quick Reply, allows you to reply directly from the notification or banner when you receive uh, anywhere in iOS. You can send a message or reply to a message, I should say. And it's very easy to use. Uh, jailbreakers have been able to use it through a tweak called Aki, and it works right from the lock screen or anywhere else in iOS. It's very, very cool tweak and an awesome feature to have. This predictive keyboard has been around for quite some time for jailbreak community. These are pretty much identical features that we see in iOS 8 for the suggestive keyboard features, as they, as they refer to it. As users type, they're given three different word suggestions along the top of the keyboard based on the letters that's been input. This really helps to speed up the typing process. Secondly, Apple's also added a feature called Always On Siri. And what this does is when your device is connected to a power outlet, Siri is always listening for you to give the command, which is, okay, Siri, okay, we have seen this through a tweet called OK Siri, which was just released in the last week or so. And what you had to do was assign a activator gesture. And when you input that gesture on your device, then Siri started listening for that command, which was OK Siri, which works much like always on Siri. Uh, the next thing is fast access to favorite contacts. Apple has added these inside the app switcher. When you open your app switcher along the top above the little cards, you're going to see little contacts of your photos of color. If you have a photo of that contact, I should say, will be above the little cards in the app switcher. And if you want to call that person or text them or FaceTime, you'll just tap that specific contact. You'll get a little slide out and you'll choose SMS, text, or FaceTime from right there. And you'll be able to perform that all right from inside the app switcher without leaving, okay? The next thing you're going to be seeing is uh, sending and receiving messages from your Mac. Now, we've been able to do that to a certain degree as a jailbreak community using remote messages, the tweak, I should say. And now we're going to have it in iOS 8. It's going to be re they're referred to referring to it as continuity. They're allowing you to continue different things from one device to another. Like you're going to start a message or an email on your iOS device, and then you want to move over to your Mac to finish it, to send it, or vice versa. You'll be able to do that without any problems in iOS 8. But like I said, we've had this feature similar through remote messages. The next thing, Apple's added more photo editing options in iOS 8, such as the iPad's panorama feature. The iPad's never had the ability to perform panorama, the panorama feature. If you have been jailbroken, you could have installed a jailbreak tweak called Firebreak that would have allowed you to do this already. You could install it on any unsupported device and have access to that already. Next, you could have on iOS 8 added what I, the, the feature I probably enjoy most is the emergency contact feature. Apple's going to allow an iOS 8 users to input their information. And if you're in a car wreck or something like that, you can if someone finds you and you're unconscious. All they have to do is unlock your phone and your emergency contact information will be listed right there on your contact screen. Okay. If you're jailbroken, you could already have that through a tweet called in case of which I think is an awesome idea that everybody should use. Next, Apple's finally allowed developers to start including widgets on the lock screen. I think it's about time, don't you guys? So if you are a jailbreaker, you know what iWidgets are. You've probably used Dashboard X. Uh, that's a little bit bigger tweak than just going widgets on the sprint on your lock screen that that's uh, ios wide but we're just talking about lock screen apple's not going to allow them to be input on the home screen only the lock screen so you know we've had that for quite some time through widgets such as nc weather 
something similar to that. And guys, here's we've talked about eight different jailbreak tweaks that we've seen in iOS 8. Let me know what your favorite feature is in the comment section below. And don't forget to follow modmy.com on Facebook and Twitter. Their links will be in the description. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. Share this video on Facebook and Twitter and keep coming back.